Melissa, and so today I'm going to be teaching you some back to school ideas. Oh, look, oh, I make no sense. Hey guys, it's Calista, and so today I'm going to be teaching you some ways to make money for back to school, because I know the older you get, the more you have to buy your own clothes for back to school, and sometimes your own supplies, so I was going to come up with some ideas to help you. These, I try to make them creative and not like the basic ideas, but who knows, maybe they're still basic. But before I start, I just want to tell you guys that I did get a new lens, so hopefully it made a difference because that's kind of like the point to make, you know. You see what I did there? So the first way that you can make money has to do with dogs. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, are you going to tell me to go wash some dogs? Because I know that's what people normally say. But no, you could start a brushing dogs teeth business. I received these at VidCon. They were not given to me. Well, they were given to me, but they were given to like everybody else, all 18,000 attendees that attended. I thought this was like a fun idea. Go buy a toothbrush and go buy some dog toothpaste at like your local PetSmart. And you, what you do is you take the brush, right? You put this on there and then you close this. So what this does, this is the Lickies brand and this will help anti-plaque, natural bad breath, biting something that I can't pronounce and dogs love it is the great part. Um, I tried it with my dog, it didn't necessarily work, but the point is we try to make it work. And I know a lot of people don't even like brush their dog's teeth, so you could be like, hey, I am going to help your dog have a better life. don't wear a majority of the clothes in your closet as bad as that sounds I completely know I do and there's like this thing that says like most girls only wear like 10% of what's in their closet so I'm sure you have a lot of clothes that you don't wear so for this first or the second idea all you will have to do is go through your closet and pick out any clothes that you haven't worn in the past four months unless it was like a special occasion dress and any clothes that don't fit anymore or any clothes that you just personally don't like anymore and you just want to pick them out put them in a pile and you can either bring them to a thrift store but you're not going to get as much money normally at a thrift store than you would doing it yourself so if you want to do it yourself what you need to do is have an iPhone probably I don't know if it comes for Android and you'll need a iPhone camera and that's basically all and so what you're going to do is just take pictures of the clothes and then you put and set a price for them and you put them on an app called Poshmark. I know this is a way that a lot of people sell their clothes. It's basically what you do. You set the price, people will buy it from you, then you have to ship the item. And it's actually super simple because one of my good friends uses it, and or she used to use it, and she said that it was so simple. And um, also I think you can trade clothes on there, so like instead of buying new stuff, sell new stuff on there too, but instead of like buying new stuff, you could like trade clothes with people. So the third idea that I have is like babysitting, but still not like babysitting because the point of this video is to be creative. Is if you have friends, I applaud you and ask them if they want to start a camp with you. What a camp? Can you even legally start a camp? I don't even know. You might want to check with that, but it doesn't doesn't have to be named a camp. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take like two or three of your friends and then start like a little mini babysitting daycare. And you probably want a parent home while doing this, obviously, because if not, you're going to probably not be in the best situation here but so what you can do is charge like 30 to 40 dollars a person per kid and have like a mini daycare babysitting camp since a lot of parents work during the summer and they can't do that oh they can't wash their own kid for like half the day because like you know they're working to make money for their families and so they need people to watch them and I'm sure they'll be comfortable if they know you so you want to you want to approach this idea to people you know though and I mean once work gets around you'll have a lot of kids but the more kids that you get the more friends that you'll have to like add in to help watch and you can split up the money so with the money you'll have to have some of it go to um food and then you'll have to have some of it go to like entertainment like arts and crafts and then you can use like your old board games and like movies but like I said if you're gonna do that idea it's it's completely best to have a parent there. So the fourth idea is for really crafty people. So if you've heard of the website Etsy, which I feel like everybody has, all you have to do is come up with some really creative idea and sell stuff on there and you can make money really easily. Not really easily. I don't know how easy it is. I've never sold stuff on there. But um, yeah, so like I know some people sell like their own clothes that like they make. Some people sell like, you know, iPhone cases and, and hopefully you got some help on how to make money for back to school. So comment any ideas that you would have to try and make back to school money so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and that's basically all so thanks for watching and bye guys